Nice. You got a great turnout. All the fans are here. Hello. Hey, I like that hoodie. <laughs> How are you, Quincy? I'm great. Can't complain. It's uh -huh. been a long day, but I'm, I'm good. High energy. Yeah. Good day, I'm sure. Absolutely. Congratulations on all the success of season one of Thank Star. You. Thank that you. was been it's been amazing. You guys are all watching it, I'm sure. And you have a lot of supporters and fans, yes? Yeah. Season one. Yeah. So for those who may be a little unfamiliar with the show, tell us more about Star and then tell us about your role as Derek and what you, who yeah, you play. Yeah, well, Star revolves, you know, around three girls uh, trying to achieve their dreams and knowing all the trials and tribulations that, you know, come with that, you know, they are, you know, experiencing it, you know, at its worst, at its best. And, uh, you know, hopefully you watch all of season one, but season two, now they have a record deal and uh, they, you know, received a million dollars. And if you don't know, you know, once you, you know, make it big, you're still in a, you know, you're still in a big race. You know, it's, it's, it's still not over. You know, you still got to, you know, uh, do what it takes to get to the next step, you know, and um, you explore my character a lot. Uh, you get to, we got to, first of all, we have to keep our prayers up. Okay, because... Y'all know what happens at the end of season I need to one, walk right? again. Okay. I need to walk again. <laughs> but you, you explore my character's, you know, life in this way now. You know, everything is kind of, uh, you know, altered a bit. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't have my, my naturalness. You know, I'm in love. That changes, you know, when, when you're going through something. Um, you know, I'm a strong supporter in the Black Lives Matter movement. So it's like, you know, I, my focus is all elsewhere, you know, because of my state. But we're praying that we, I get better. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely keep the prayers up for you for sure. in season two. Yeah. Um, but in talking about your role, Derek, I mean, you are passionate, right? You are, Derek is somebody who is a community organizer, who cares about, like, people who are vulnerable, people of color. Um, and that's something that's really real these days, especially yes, now in light of Trump's America, um, and especially being black or of color in, in these states where we're constantly having to struggle and constantly having to speak out against yes. racial social injustice. So talk to me about you and how that relates to you and playing Derek. And do you see actors or people who have a platform and having that sense of responsibility and portraying that on screen or through the platforms that they do have? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really important in I'm blessed to be in a position to have a role that can showcase and bring awareness to a lot of this, you know, the un inequality things that are you know, happening. And um, I believe like somebody like Derek, you know, when, when something hits him so tough, like an accident, you know, but where your heart is, that still stays, you know what I mean? And so I think, uh, you know, like today's, we're waking up tomorrow with more issues than yesterday, you know what I mean? So it's just like, it only takes, you know, the voice, you know what I mean? And all those voices can, can um, become that one voice, you know what I mean? And as long as that's, you know, at the top of, you know, everybody's priority, you know, then we can make the change officially. Well, that representation absolutely does matter. Absolutely. Um, and it matters in your role, it matters across TV. Mm -hmm. um, but in talking about the people or the stars that are part of Star, you work alongside some really heavy hitters yeah. in the show, some really heavy hitters. You have Naomi Campbell, you got Queen Tifa, you got, I mean, there's Tyrese, you have, you know, all kinds of folks in the show, yeah. Lenny Kravitz. So talk to me about, I mean, you're no stranger to celebrity and celebrity <laughs> life, and we'll get into that, but just talk to me about what it's like on set and the chemistry that you have working around so many mega talented Yes, Yeah, stars. no, being on set is, like, fun. Like, I've been, you know, telling people when they really ask me, it's, it feels like we're not working. You know what I mean? Up until the director starts yelling at you and stuff. But it's definitely a, definitely a fun experience, and it's really... Get it together. Yeah, you know, it's very, really important to connect with everybody, not only the director, but everybody within the production. You know what I mean? Because they what makes your day go. You know what I mean? And uh, I think, you know, with high energy, I think everybody, you know, everybody was kind of like unfamiliar with each other first season. You know what I mean? Second season, we're in here. It's like our house now. You know what I mean? It's like auntie house. So we cutting up, you know, we playing jokes, doing all that type of fun stuff. So this season is definitely, you know, of course, you know, everybody's uh, opened up. Yeah. What attracted you to the role? Because you, as you know, as I'm sure the audience knows and a lot of your fans know, have grown up as a celebrity. You've, you are the son of Al B. Sure, one of the biggest music legends out there. Yeah. You were raised by another music legend, Sean Diddy Combs. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about your upbringing and what that was like and how much of that connects to your role in the show. And is, that, is it accurately depicted knowing that you are, you know, familiar with the inside of the music industry? Yeah. Well, growing up, you know, I was around so much, you know, between the music business and and, um, I mean, everything, but, like, I was sitting back, you know, gaining all that knowledge and, and really just doing what I can to, you know, not even fit in, but just, like, understand what's going on, you know, and then I guess, you know, when I started to officially choose my career path, originally I wanted to play baseball. Baseball was, like, yeah. my, that was my passion. That's what I wanted to do. Where you are now. <laughs> and, well, yeah, but, you know, um, I moved a lot, so my sports eligibility 
like they canceled it because I I missed too many days in school. You know what I mean? So I had a lot of free time now. You know, so um but like I said, growing up, it definitely was a lot that I soaked in and really didn't know what it was until later on in life, you know, up until I started applying everything. And then, you know, I think that goes hand in hand with everything I do. Everything I do is a part of me somehow. Nothing is just like that role is not like, oh, there's nothing about him that's, you know, similar to Quincy. You know what I mean? Absolutely. There's, you know, a lot of different things, you know, especially the passion and, and the drive you know, for whatever's being done that's in front of me, you know. So what was it like being, I mean, can you talk about some of the experiences or moments that you had growing up? Like, you know, did you have, like, the access? Like, the, you know, you have resources, you have people in your life who, you know, were incredibly talented, had great connections. So what was that, you know, what was that exposure like for you growing up and how is it translated in your life now? I mean, I was just in the background of everything. I wasn't really, you know, all that stuff was happening, but I wasn't really using or, you know, in the, in the mix, really. I was like, I was the fly on the wall. Like I said, I was the student, you know, for free. You know what I mean? Just, you know, sitting back, just gaining all that. And, and like I said, like, it's paying off today, you know, and without me even knowing. But I'm knowing now just because, you know, it was my life, you know, yeah. Were there any key people outside of your family that, you know, stood out to you, reached reach out and give you support when it comes to acting or any of the other business adventures that you've done? Um, I keep the family pretty close, so I don't think too many outside people, um, but definitely the family. I think that those are the people's uh, opinions I value the most anyway, so, yeah. I mean, well, you have Diddy in your life, who is one of the, you know, most influential people in music. Yes. Um, so talk to me about his thoughts on Star, and what does he think of the show and your performance in it? You know, he absolutely loves Star. Um, you know, of course, coming, uh, you know, with Empire being out, you know, I was trying to, he, I was trying to explain to him, you know, the difference, you know, with it. But then I really just what had is the difference, though. Let's talk it, about it, the difference between Star and Empire. It's just a, do, uh, a different storyline. You know, it revolves around different characters, um, three females. You know, what I mean, it's you know, you're dealing with a predominantly male, you know, a cast um, in Empire. But yeah. Um, so you broke that down to him. Yeah. <laughs> what else did he say? Broke it down to him. Um, and then, you know, he was excited. But then he was like, wait, so you're going to be singing? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm playing an activist. And he was like, but you going to be singing? I was like, listen. <laughs> so it's like, I, I just had to, like, be quiet. Did he want you to sing? Or? I mean, he was just so just, he, he, you know, he saw Empire. And then so it, <laughs> he just thought that, you know, like, how are you going to be singing, though? But I had to really explain to him. Um, but, you know, he ended up loving the show, obviously, you know, just dealing with the situations and anything close to the music, he always is, you know, he has, he has a soft spot for so. Absolutely, I'm yeah. sure. Um, what are your thoughts on your role compared to the roles that you've had in the past? I mean, you've done multiple acting yeah. um, roles in a lot of shows and some reality TV. So talk to me about this experience and what stands out. Oh, no reality TV. Um, Sweet 16? That was. That was. I mean, it was. That don't TV count. I was your, sixteen. Real life. I'm just. I was sixteen. You did a yeah. My super sweet sixteen. Quincy Brown up. edition. Y'all remember that? I I, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, I guess my first real TV. Woohoo! Right. That was your breakthrough. Was, that was, was your moment. Was, was sweet sixteen. Yeah. Um, wait, what was the question though? But just how this role in Star start, stands out. Oh awesome. yeah. Well, just because this role is like you know the most impactful. You know, it really is that voice. The role has a voice, has a platform, and it's something that, you know, me and Lee can actually talk about in so many different ways just because this, you know, is so next door to real life, you know what I mean, and, and what's happening. So I think, uh, I think this role is definitely, you know, I mean, it's my favorite so far as well, so let's say that. Mm -hmm. It's good. I can tell it comes across on the screen and you come out very Thank natural. You. Thank you. So what is it like working with Lee Daniels? I mean, he is, you know, award winning, award nominated, one of the most, you know, influential right. when it comes to black filmmakers and directors. Mm -hmm. So what's it like working with Lee Daniels and how does he sort of, you know, com treat this, the cast differently and working between Empire and Star since the shows are so similar? Well, I'm not too sure exactly the difference is how he splits the Empire and Star, but Lee is a very interesting person. Um, so it's like once you can kind of like get out of the intimidated by him, you know, from either being a fan or now he's your boss, you know what I mean, stage, uh, he really connects with you in like, a, in like a personal way, which he does like without like trying, you know what I mean? So it's like you can almost just naturally be yourself without even, you know what I mean, having to just, okay, relax, relax, relax. This is Lee Daniels, you know, but, but uh, yeah, like I said, he definitely has that, he opens that line of communication, which kind of just makes it feel Effortless, you know what I mean, to, to work, yeah. Awesome. And so what has it been, I mean, now you've done so, like you've done acting, mm -hmm. and you're continuing to build a brand, a career, um, and you've done so for so many years, right. but you're a man of many talents, a man of many businesses. Um, so talk to me about where you want to take your career long term, where your focus is now, and where you hope to take it. 
Yeah, well, um, the music is definitely something that's very important to me. Definitely passionate about that. I released the EP called This Is For You um, back in February. And um, I just, like, I want to say last month, I just final, finally released all the visuals for it. I actually got one more visual that I'm still trying to figure out. It's for a song called Suicide. Um, but um, it's, yeah, it's still trying to be, you know, creative, directed. Talk about suicide? Uh, hmm? Does it talk specifically about No, it's, it's, it's a play on words. It's basically talks about how love can make you do things crazy, you know, and, and, and you know, it's, it's hard to explain. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want to make sure that it comes out perfect. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, like, visually, you know, you want to, you don't want to, you know, miss, yeah, you don't want to, like, you know, send no, send no wrong, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's fair. That's fair. So what else? You're focusing on music. Yeah, the music. Um, I'm in the tech world heavy, too. Um, yeah, I enjoy technology a lot. Um, so definitely so. Yeah, just because or well, computers have been my little thing since I was like a little kid. Um, I think that was just something that just kept me busy outside of the baseball. You know what I, mean? I, I, I didn't have that much time outside of baseball. So when I did have a little time, I was on the computers. Um, and I'm, I'm a, now a partner on uh, it's like the Uber for haircuts. It's called Shortcut. Yes, and that yeah, that's uh, gonna be a game changer. It's you know, it's, it's an app. This is an app. Yes, it's available in New York. It's available in Miami. It's available in San Francisco. Yes, um, yeah. So we're just trying to you know change human behavior. You know, with just the way you go about. You know, grooming is something very important, right, fellas? Right. So you know, shortcut. <laughs> Schedule your that? next cut. <laughs> <laughs> You're dibbling and dabbling. That's Absolutely. good. Any other big long-term plans? Do you hope to? Are there any stars that you would love to work alongside in the future? Any roles that you'd love to land? Directors you like to work with? Um, I definitely want to go into like the sci-fi action, um, but some actors I would like to work with. Sci-fi. Yeah, like okay. I, yeah, you know, like my imagination. You know, I definitely want to apply. You know, just some of that. But uh, I love uh, Matthew McConaughey. Um, Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson. That's my all-time favorite. All, all time. He's, he's, he's too great. Um, you know, Denzel, of course. Um, the Will Smith of it all. I kind of see myself like a little young Will Smith, you know, with doing so much and, and with the acting and, you know, the music. So You know him personally? Do you get any of these folks to mentor you? I, I know him enough, places? you know, but, but it's like, you know, like I said, I'm, just, I'm trying to just gain all that respect from everybody, you know, just do my way first before I have to, you know, do the extra. Like, like yo, Pops. Call Will. I, I need to talk to Will, Pops. Can you please get him on the phone? Please. <laughs> no, nah, I'll be doing that. No, that's fair. That's respectable. Um, and what's up for next for season two? Comes out on Wednesday. Comes September out 27th. September 27th. Yes, Wednesday, 9 p.m. Empire comes on at 8. And uh, for this season's, uh, we're doing like a little crossover, a little fun, little uh, cast guest star um, for Empire and Star. So, you might see some special visitors on each of the shows in the first episode, so that'd be definitely fun. You know, they're just crossing over the music and everything. Great, so. I know Kiki Palmer's um, announced to be in season two of Star. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Any word on, like, what she role she's playing? Or you guys worked a good together one. A good role. in the past, yeah? Yeah, a yeah we were a brotherly love. Yeah, but I can't speak too much on, on the roles. Yeah. Okay, all right. Any other details you can speak on? What's um, the effect? Any, you know, I mean, recovery just expect, process? Just expect, uh, keep your prayers up. That's what we're doing. You know what I mean? Because right now, it's, 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 it's not looking good. But if we pray, hopefully, you know, we can, you know, get to where we want. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to flip Absolutely. it over to the audience. Yeah, yeah. And get some audience questions in, if whoever has them. Hi, Quincy. Hello. Uh, my name is Janet. Been a big fan since day a while. Hi, Janet. Um, I was wondering, when you found out that Derek was going to be paralyzed, did it change how you approached his character, and how did you react to finding it out? Um, absolutely changed my just outlook and everything, just because I never had to really deal with nothing like that, you know? And I do know a few people who are in that situation, and it just had to make me step back and realize how important, you know, it is to not take things for granted, you know, at all, just because something like that, you may see somebody in a wheelchair and just see them, but you don't have any idea what it feels like to actually be there. And then just to even speak with certain people who go through the pain or even do the research that, you know, you don't want to do, but you have to do to really see what they have to go through. And I think it takes those Type of it takes that type of research to really understand it if you're just so unfamiliar, and it definitely just you know made me look at life a little different, you know. And I had to definitely put a little more work into it, you know, just because not only am I not moving, you know what I mean, but it's it's more on the inside, you know what I mean. That's 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 hurt, yeah. Any other questions? Hi, Quincy. My hey. name's Panisha. Hi, Panisha. Um, 
I played softball growing up, so yeah. I wanted to know what position you played in baseball. I played shortstop. Shortstop. What Me position too. do you play? Me too. Okay, so you know what it is. Yeah. You're good then. Yeah. You can't be mediocre and play shortstop. I mean, you mediocre, you can go in the outfield. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll hit it out there. <laughs> Any other hobbies that you have that you have time for? <laughs> I love to bowl. Like, but yeah, bowling is a, is a big thing. I like photography. I like to take pictures. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm very, I'm all over the place. You know what I mean? I, I like, I like everything, really. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too, you know, closed in when it comes to, you know, things. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, I'd hey. love to find out if in the future. If you What's would, your name? Amanda. Hi, sorry. Amanda. I'm, <laughs> Um, I'd love to find out if you would actually ever want to work with Diddy in the future, like in a song or a TV show. Well, you know, that is my father. So everything I do, he uh, he has a, a nice outlook on anyway. And I don't want to ever rush nothing or force anything. So we definitely are going to work. But it's just like it just has to happen naturally, whether it's a film. It might be a film first before it's music, but it may be a song before a film, you know, because obviously he's in you know, the film world as well. So but definitely to a strong capacity. Absolutely. Yeah. What are some key lessons he's taught you just on life and business and, you know, and anything? Because I'm sure he's full of wisdom, yeah, no, as I, we all know. Yeah, no, absolutely. He's, uh, he's big on to not let him see you sweat. You know what I mean? Like, he, he's, he, he's big on, on the hustling. You know, like, you don't work hard until, you know, you start acting crazy because you don't just have no sleep. You know what I mean? Like, you, you're, you're operating and you're delusional and stuff, but it's just like, he's not really saying that, like, don't sleep. You know what I mean? But it's, it's just the mentality of it all, you know? And, and if you can't, almost like if you can't paint the picture on how you want to see it, and then what you're doing really doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So it's just like, unless you can fully apply, like you can't say, I want this, but then don't want to do the work to, to get there. You know I mean, people can easily say that, and then people can easily ask for the hookup or the boost, you know what I mean, whatever it is, but ain't no shortcuts in life. And that's one thing he told me, because, you know, it's, everything is a process, you know? Things take time, you know? Um, and uh, I guess learning that in life is, is one of the biggest lessons, just how to be patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And holding yourself accountable. Yeah, for right. real. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on everything. We're Thank you. We're super excited to see you in season two. Yes, and yes. can't wait for more great things to come your way. Definitely. Thank um, you. Um, prayers are definitely going up. For prayers, Derek please. I'm for real. <laughs> yeah, 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 for real. We, Absolutely. Prayers I mean, is going to make, you know what I mean, this work. You know I mean, if it ain't no prayers... We need the love, y'all. Yes, please. Thank you for joining us. Thank y'all. Pleasure having you. For sure.